Babes at Sea is a 1934 animation from Colour Rhapsody. This is directed and written by Arthur Davis and it's relatively interesting but a little bit traumatising as well because this, this little boy is following this frog and he follows it towards the edge of a well and he falls in the well and at first I thought okay this is quite dark this baby's falling in a well but when he gets to the bottom of the well he's in this beautiful fairy land and we have this gorgeous fairy who is singing to him and honestly she reminds me an awful lot of the goddess of springtime from the disney short i don't know which one came first i haven't got the dates in my head for that film but she definitely reminded me a lot of her and in this water there are various water babies there and they're playing with different seahorses and animals from the water and it's all about this little boy exploring this land and, and what it has to offer and of course the big question is what will happen to him at the end? Will he be rescued from the well? Um, I'm not going to say what happens but I was certainly very curious to find out how it concluded. I have to say I didn't think it was amazing. It was a relatively interesting concept. I'm not very happy that he fell down a well. It, I don't think that gives the best message of and not that I'm saying any child will watch this and then suddenly think that there might be a fairyland at the bottom of a well but I do think that it's a bit of a risk because it's not like he fell down the well and discovered discovered a world that was full of horrific dangers and scary things. It's actually a world that's quite pleasing. So it is a bit of a danger that a young child could watch this, not fully grasp that it's not real. And, you know, if there is a well nearby, they may try and go down it and that would be absolutely terrible. So I don't think it's the most responsible cartoon ever. The animation was quite nice. It wasn't my favourite animation style, but it was relatively pleasing. The song in it is very gentle. It's kind of like a lullaby. It's very soothing. I really enjoyed that. I thought the music and the sound effects were all very satisfying. So it's a bit of a hidden miss cartoon. It hits with the, the song and some of the animation. It misses with the message that it's giving and some of the animation. Um, certain things I thought were better done than others. It's a nice enough concept, um, executed quite well. Not my favourite Colour Rhapsody, wouldn't be the first one that I'd recommend, but if you're a fan of the series in general, then I would say give it a go. There will be things in it I think that you will enjoy.